WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. I'm Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update. And a slightly mixed bag out here. The only indice trading to the upside is Russell 2000. It's up two points, so really flat. But the Dow's off 351. S&P's off 36. NASDAQ 156. Semi's off 50. Tranny's off 35. Spot volatility index is up 11%. If it does have a one-day rate of change above plus 10 percent you've got to look for some type of uh, viable bottom in the overnight session out there you'd be typically looking for a road momentum indicator signal out there hey if you're not familiar with that go subscribe to mastering probability there's a workshop there are a couple workshops that will teach you about that pattern out here but let's go spend a little time as we do during the 2 p.m update and go take a look at our stock indice charts we'll begin by looking at the dow as you take a look at its chart, it has a nice TD9 count bottom, has a nice road momentum indicator bottom. But what it doesn't have is doesn't have a close above that red oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 33,942. If price can close above that level, signals move to 35,431. If price doesn't close above that level, it says we can easily go back and revisit the lows from Friday. Maybe it's the highs from Thursday. Uh, maybe it's the lows from Thursday out there. But that red oscillator and change line is really key little divergence. The S&P is trading above the red oscillator and change line. TD9 count bottom, and as long as price remains above that, 45.26 is its target. The NDX 100, both a TD9 count and Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom, price above the red oscillator and change line, suggests move to 14.769. The Russell 2000, Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom, price above the red oscillator and change line, suggests a target of at least its recent highs, and above that, 22.10. The semis are really the ones to probably watch. You've got a, a nice Rosemont indi indicator bottom. Price is above the red oscillator and change line. That's printing at 33.70. If that closes below 33.70, that's a signal that we then go back and retest those lows from Thursday. And as the semis go, maybe so to the markets out there. But right now, this is suggesting it wants to get back to its recent highs. Those recent highs would take us back into the February 10th time frame, and that's in about the 36.50, 36.60 area out there. The transports, they've got a nice TD9 count, roads meant to indicate a in all kinds of bottoming signals out here. And price has resistance at 15 to 420. Boy, if the transports get above that, you can see it move all the way to 16 to 16. Folks, stay tuned for your favorite polar bear. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us home. I'll be back with you tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock sharp. Have a magical Monday, folks.